Good evening and welcome to Complain or Night Prayer on Friday the 2nd of October. And you're very welcome from wherever you're joining us this evening. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins. Heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread on the foot or deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and the Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Amen. Our psalm for tonight is Psalm 139, reading from verses 1 to 18. The refrain, Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place, and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, and the light around me turn to night, even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you. When I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth, your eyes beheld my form, as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written, as day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How deep were your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand. And at the end, I am still in your presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Creator God, make every breath we take be for your glory. May every footstep show you as our way, that trusting in your presence in this world, we may beyond this life still be with you, where you are alive and reign forever and ever. Amen. Our scripture reading for tonight is from 1 Thessalonians 5, reading verses 9 and 10. God has destined us not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. The Responsory, 
Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. The Gospel Canticle, which is the Nunc Dimittis, also called the Song of Simeon. The refrain, Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. As we come to our prayers of intercession, we remember and pray for those in our hearts, those who are caring for the dying, that they would be at peace. For those who are isolating and shielding as a result of COVID-19, that they will remain at peace, have a peaceful night, pray for their families who have to isolate as well as a result. We continue to pray for the young people away at university who are unable to leave the buildings. And as we give thanks to God for bringing us to the end of this day, we pray for peace in the hearts and minds of those in our diocese who lead the St. Michael's and All Angels and All Souls with Emmanuel in Camberwell. For Jonathan, their vicar, Desreen, their priest with permission to officiate, and Kezia, their reader, also with permission to officiate. For Ark All Saints Academy, for Lucy, their principal, and Jonathan Roberts, their chaplain. And in the wider Anglican communion this evening, we pray for peace and a restful night for the bishops, priests, and people in the dioceses of Peru, South America, and Chichester in England. O Lord, we beseech you mercifully to hear the prayers of your people who call upon you, and grant that they may both perceive and know what things they ought to do, and also may have grace and power faithfully to fulfill them. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who at this evening hour lay in the tomb and so hallowed the grave to be a bed of hope for all who put their trust in you. Give us such sorrow for our sins which were the cause of your passion, that when our bodies lie in the dust, our souls may live with you forever. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And as we conclude, in peace we lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for joining us tonight, Friday the 2nd of October, for Compline as we come to the end of our night prayer for this week. Do have a peaceful night and a blessed weekend. 
And if you can do tune in to the masses that are coming from the United Benefits of Holy Innocence and St. Mark on Sunday, the 4th of October, as we begin our celebrations and thanksgivings to those who from the black community have contributed to the lives here, the country here of Great Britain. And so we commemorate Black History Month. And on Saturday the 3rd, if you're able to tune in to the Thanksgiving service from Southwark Cathedral, as the Diocese of Southwark marks Black History Month. Until then, good night and God bless.